welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video now take a look at what I have here here I have some frozen facial mask these, these are frozen anti-aging facial masks that I use on my skin to lift and firm my skin they also help to brighten my skin hydrate the skin and just leave my skin with a refreshing natural look so if you're interested in seeing how I made these amazing facial masks follow me to the kitchen and I'll show you how to whip them up I will also show you how to use them on your skin for best result now take a look at what I have here and here I have some cornstarch cornstarch we're using it for its skin tightening properties in case you don't know in many of your facial powder and many other kinds of cosmetics you're gonna find cornstarch so we're gonna use about a tablespoon of cornstarch and what we're going to be making with this is a cornstarch paste to make the cornstarch paste we're going to be using hot water so let's reach for our hot water and you want to start out with little at a time so we're going to start out with about two tablespoons of hot water and we're going to mix this like really really quick really really quick you're gonna mix this and this need a little bit more hot water so I'm gonna add another tablespoon or so and we're gonna mix I need to change this spoon so we're gonna mix this into a paste now if you use cold water guys you're not gonna get this result so make sure that you use hot water and you're gonna make sure to get rid of all the lumps from the cornstarch if you need a little bit more hot water go ahead and add it so just keep mixing and this is exactly how you want it to look you want it to be totally creamy and it's gonna have a clear consistency to it okay up close blend well it's more gonna be more like of a gel than a cream okay so just keep blending you can also choose to do this on your stove top or double boiler I find this to be the easiest way to cream the cornstarch and once your cornstarch is creamed this is what it looks like and now we're gonna put this to the side and we're gonna move on to prepping our next ingredient which is cantaloupe now cantaloupes are delicious but besides being delicious cantaloupe also is a rich source of essential vitamins and minerals like vitamin A and B6 vitamin and also folic acid that makes it an amazing fruit to use on the skin especially for its vitamin A properties. Vitamin A will help to boost the collagen production in the skin, tighten that skin, and have your skin looking younger. This makes our cantaloupe a perfect anti-aging fruit. So what I'm gonna be doing with my cantaloupe, I'm gonna chop it in small pieces since I'm gonna be blending. So let's just chop. We're going to place this in the blender. We're going to cover and we're going to blend. Now take a look. Here we have our blended cantaloupe. So now that we're done with the prepping, we're going to gather all our ingredients together and we're going to now make our facial mask. And this is about two tablespoons of the cornstarch mixture and our next ingredient is some aloe vera gel you can choose to use fresh aloe vera gel for this recipe or you can choose to use the store-bought aloe vera gel like I'm using here we're gonna use one tablespoon of the aloe vera gel and we're adding this to our cornstarch mixture and we're gonna blend our aloe vera gel in our cornstarch mixer like I'm showing here and this looks amazing and smells great also so just blend this up and now you have your perfect cream mix well and guys this is gonna look jelly like let's look at the consistency up close 
that's exactly how you want it to be now once this is done we're gonna reach for our cantaloupe a good replacement for cantaloupe is some pineapple juice fresh pineapple juice you can even use some peach or some blueberry to replace the cantaloupe so we're gonna start off with two tablespoons of our cantaloupe and we're pouring this in and we're just gonna blend this in our mixture just blend you do not want it to be too watery but you don't want it to be too thick either now once we're done take a look at this this is creamy and this is exactly how you want it to be so you just mix and now guys you're gonna reach for a ice tray and what we're gonna do we are gonna pour this in we're gonna fill it up and then we're gonna set this in the refrigerator to freeze once these are done I'll come back and I'll show you how to use them on your skin for best result so here we have our ice cube face mask what you can do you can place this in a zip locker bag and store them in the freezer when you're ready to use you just take one out you really don't need a lot and this is what you're gonna use on your skin so I'm gonna go on the other side and show you how to use your frozen facial mask now to use your facial mask you want to start with clean skin and you're just gonna take a bar and you're just gonna use it on your skin like this so just apply it on your skin all over and this feels really really good don't forget your forehead up close if you have large pores this is good for you rub it on this is amazing guys if you do not want to waste it half a cube is good enough for one use or you can make the cubes much smaller now once you cover your face with the facial mask you're gonna leave it on your skin for 30 minutes after 30 minutes you're gonna rinse off with some cold water pat dry the skin and apply your favorite beauty products So there you have it what are you waiting for give this facial mask a try use them for a couple of weeks and then come back and leave a comment thank you all for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up share the video with your friends share it on your social media and if this was the first time watching I'm sure you want to see more of these amazing videos so look below you're gonna see the word subscribe just click on it and you will be subscribed also at the side there is a little bell if you click on it you'll get a notification notification once you turn on allow notification on your phone from YouTube thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in my next video to another amazing recipe just for you